Hey, it's James here. Uh, I'm a bit late on this. I'm sorry. I was having a lot of fucking computer issues. I tried recording this, like, every day, and I couldn't fucking get to work. But we are here at the season finale. Nobody expected this. If you predicted that the season 8 finale would be Saitama versus motherfucking Popeye, you have my respect. You have my greatest respect. If you could fucking, if you correctly predicted that the finale would be Saitama versus Popeye. Everyone, including myself, saw that the finale would be Galactus vs. Unicron. I'm gonna turn this down a bit. Like, that's what everybody thought the matchup would be. Galactus vs. Unicron. And I'm glad it wasn't, actually. The other matchups that everyone said, like, brought up when someone on the team said, I think it's Ben, said that it's not what you expect. The other matchups I heard being brought up was it's still Galactus Unicron as the main one, saying, like, oh, they're trying to fucking throw us off or something. Or act like they are. Fuck. So, yeah, it might still be that. Goku vs. Superman 3, which I think, fuck, it wasn't. <laughs> if we had to do Goku vs. Superman 3, I would, I would like if it's during the 10-year anniversary of the first Goku vs. Superman. If they have to do it. Have to. <laughs> Um, another one that was constantly brought up was, uh, Simone, not, Kyle Rayner was Simone the Digger, mixed it up there, and I, I highly doubt that, I highly doubt it then. I don't think we'll get it next season either, I think that's more likely for either the next, um, Legacy season, dependent on the finale for next year, or season 10. So, season 11 or 10, I feel like that'll be when it's most likely, I don't know. And then the other one that was constantly brought up, which would have been most fitting to do, is Master Chief versus Samus. Because Haloid, also the season started with a Star Wars character, and ending it with a Metroid character, when the first ever episode was a Star Wars versus Metroid matchup, would have been fitting. Especially for the Legacy season. Like, that would have been fitting. But you know what? I'm happiest with what we got. I don't care for Galactus vs. Unicron. I don't care about the characters in general. I know nothing about them. Saitama vs. Popeye, well, I I would have preferred Captain Underpants for Saitama, though it's not my preferred character, Captain Underpants. I'm glad we got this. Like, looking at the other Saitama matchup, I do like both of these characters too, and I haven't watched Popeye since I was a kid, so it's fun revisiting that. But, like, looking at the other matchups that I brought up for these characters, Saitama, the other ones you hear is Captain Underpants, which, like I said, is my preferred, but not my preferred for the Cap. Um, Coral Sensei, which, no. That matchup's fine, I guess, but Coral Sensei has better, like, All Might. That matchup's good, people are resting on it. And then the other one I also heard was Booster Gold, which is just a joke, obviously. Superman and Goku, which are no... That's the DBX level, and hey, one was a DBX, so fucking hell. And then, for, um, I'm, too, I'm, for, I'm forgetting, a, oh, Squirrel Girl. I don't care about Squirrel Girl's matchup. I don't even like it, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But then looking at Popeye, the only other matchups I hear brought up is Luffy from One Piece, and Luffy, I'd rather see him fight Naruto, if Naruto has to come back. And that's the only other match I really can think of from um, Popeye that brought up. So, yeah, it's glad this one. And I'm glad this was the finale instead because, like I said, I don't care about Galactus Unicron. I'm, I'll just be happy for those who've been wanting it. Popeye vs. Saitama. Saitama vs. Popeye. I love both these characters. Like, I fucking love them. And especially going back and rewatching Popeye. And I feel like this is more fun and just more shock of a fucking announcement. Like, I did not care about any of the remaining ones. Like, after Dia vs. Alucard, I wasn't singing what Korra's matchup could be, because Korra vs. Ray is in, like, my top 25, and if it was Delson, that would have been cool. I could have gotten another series of Nuffel, even though I don't particularly care for it. I don't know anything about Delson. But, yeah, I... While I liked the fact that Kumo was returning, none of his matchups particularly care I cared for. I fucking don't like Madara versus Aizen, purely for the debate and 
Fuck off, Snarto. What the hell's going on with my music? What the hell's going on? Okay, uh, guess a moment there. There we go. Um, and then, like, in the finale, we all saw the Galactic Unicron, and I don't care for it. Popeye vs. Saitama, I never really considered. Saitama's one of those characters that they said is banned from Death Bell. Obviously joking. But... What the hell's going on with YouTube? Must be some issues, because snow or something. But... Saitama's one of those ones that was jokingly banned. Like, in Mob vs. Tatsumaki Q&A, they said Saitama's a banned character because, like, he's very inconsistent in the scaling. But it seems like they finally got it figured out. And I'm happy it's this matchup. They did, I believe they said they showed interest in this one. So, that's cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm just happy it's this one. And, it, because it's a matchup I actually am fairly, I'm not the most interested in, but it got my interest more than the other main possibility, Galactic Unicron. What the fuck is, okay, I'm skipping ahead to the next song. We're not listening to One Punch Man OP. But, yeah. I'm excited for this one. I'm happy that we're getting it instead of the other matchups that were brought up. Though Kyle versus Simone would have been cool. But, uh, yeah. And going with the debate itself, it's a stomp. <laughs> like, this is Korra versus Storm and Goku Black versus Reverse, Reverse, Reverse Flash levels of a stomp. <laughs> like, fucking. Saitama is planetary at best, scaling to like Boros. But then Popeye, base fucking Popeye, it's Star. Like, he punched Bolo's? What the? Bolo? Bolo? What the hell? The villain and Popeye's, whatever his name is, I can't remember, into the fucking sun. And he gave the sun a black eye in base. Was how it's finished. So, uh, yeah, big fucking stop for Popeye. And I find that funny. The Saitama fans, the, those wankers, are gonna be fucking livid, but you know what? I don't care. It's fucking hilarious that this is happening in the first place. And that the fact that Saitama, not, not Saitama, Popeye fucking wins easily without spinach. Oh, it's got, excuse me, sorry. And with the episode itself, I'm very excited. Like, it's not just gonna be 3D. We only had one episode that was the finale and wasn't 3D, and that wasn't meant to to be the finale. So, yeah. Fucking Deadpool or Spring Pie. So, yeah, it's gonna be 3D. I think even someone said that they're using um, custom models. They do have a good uh, Saitama model and voice from Superman vs. Saitama. Like, that shit's good. I would not mind if they reuse that. I hear people say Popeye is cursed in 3D, and might I say... I even remember that fucking, like, teaser for the Popeye movie that got canned for the Emoji movie. Anyone remember that and how fucking awesome it looked? And how well Popeye can work in 3D? Yes, that was with, like, a higher budget, but it proves that Popeye can work in 3D. So, hey, it works. And I love that fact. And, so yeah, 3D... And there's so many things I want from the fight. I want to start, because this is a stupid way to start it, but it works. There's a sale on spinach. And Saitama and Popeye grab the last can of spinach. And it starts there. The fight starts that way. It's stupid. But these are st it's, it's fucking it's a cartoon character from 1929. And the one punch man. Stupid works. Okay? I'm, so, I'm smiling so much for this. But, yeah, I have that star. Like, Saitama just fucking punches the man. And, like, Popeye just gets up like it was nothing. And, and Saitama just gets excited. Because his whole character is wanting to find someone that he could fight. And he won't, like, get killed in one punch. Saitama is one of those characters that can do that. And, like, they just... It's like a friendly fight in a way. At least on Saitama's end, like, he's just joyful throughout the whole episode that he found a man that could take Popeye, that could, uh, take his punches. Like, have the city be destroyed, City Z, most likely, just have that city- Oh god. Have that city just be fucking demolished by the end of the episode, or go fall out, fucking send the fight to the moon! 
I would love that challenge. Fucking Popeye punches Saitama to the moon, and he just fucking bounces off, and just fucking lays a fucking massive ass punch on his way back. That would be fucking cool. And, like, and I wanted the score, the, po the fucking Popeye theme when he eats the spinach, something like that. I want that in the score. They got the ocarina to work in the score in Final Breath, so please have the spinach theme in there, or at least like a like a guitar version of it or something. When Popeye eats the spinach, and after he does like his fucking cartoony transformation of like his arms just getting more buff and whatnot, Saitama just does the okay before he's getting fucking whacked across the head and just sent flying back. And it goes to like a very fast paced fight for a bit. Has a dude just fucking clasp fist. That would be cool. Just side just have Saitama be excited throughout the whole fight. I have a feeling this might be a lyrical score. Uh, besides um One Wing Devil, all the lyric all the finales have had a lyrical score. Kings of Affinity, Mighty, Ikari, all were lyrical. So I feel like this will also follow that trend and have will be like Thanos for Stark side in the six minute mark because we haven't really had a long fight in that sort of way in like a while mainly because budget restraints now and more time restraint so yeah it's fair disappointing but fair like the most we had like two four minute fights so I'm hoping that can surpass that. At least five minutes, please. A five, four and a half minute fight, that would be cool. Six if we can get it. Like I said, we haven't had a 3D fight, an in-house 3D fight, since Blake vs. Mikasa. So I'm hoping they put a lot of resources into this one. <clears throat> and like, with the rundowns themselves, we do have the Saitama one out right now. And I think for the first members, the Popeye one's out. I don't know if those were released the day before, like, with the actual episode. But I'm hoping with, like, at least with Popeye's, um, like, end clip, the transition, I hope it's just the Popeye the Sailor Man, doo doo, like that. And that would be very, that would just be, like, a cool little thing. And I don't really care too much for, like, the transition clips, if they're good or bad. They're not the big part of
I'm very excited. I'm just hoping this will be a very fun, great episode, and one that'll just be hilarious. And, like, the death should be really cool, too. Like, Saitama just being, like, Saitama's happy that at least he was able to lose to a character, to someone that could match him. That could take his punches. Like, he went all out in this fight. That pop I go out, too. Maybe also, like, um, during the little cutaway for Wizard Boomstick, in Saitama's, um, Boomstick tries doing the one punch. And then with Popeyes, it could just be fucking him eating the spinach. Like, uh, Boomstick trying to eat the spinach. Or maybe, like, Popeye could cut out the TV or something. I don't know. He has broken the animation before in, in a fight in the uh, old cartoon. So, who knows? I'm just very excited for this. I'm also hoping we don't have to wait another three fucking months for the next episode. Like... I love Death Battle. It's my favorite series of all time, but I don't want to wait that long again. Oh, God.